Hey, thanks for watching the Rockin' Hockey Show. Today, we have professional hockey players. Ladies and gentlemen, the 94 Let's go! Hi, man. Good, man. Good, man. About that for an announcement. Starting lineup. Hey, listen. I used to give these guys lessons when they were little guys. Now they're going to help me give a lesson to you on the Rock and Hockey Show. So make sure your skates are tight. Buckle up those chin straps because this is the Rock, Rock and Hockey, Hockey Show. So today we're going to be working on fielding pucks off the wall. As a forward or defenseman, in my opinion, this is one of the hardest skills that you can conquer, and it gives a lot of guys jobs as you go to the higher levels. A couple different ways you can do this and be very effective is you can either use your stick, your skates, or your body. The biggest thing, don't turn the puck over to the middle of the ice. Sometimes you won't be able to make a clean play, so the best thing to do, maybe eat the puck, wait for help so that your team can feel the clean breakout or that you can attack the net if you're in the offensive zone. First thing we're going to work on is being able to feel the puck with our skates. Two of the main ways I like to do that is either get our butts right along the wall and angle our skates so that it comes out to our stick, or hook the wall, make a tee with your feet so that puck's not going to be able to get by you. Like Nick mentioned here, the key is to not turn the puck over. Whether you keep the puck there, skate it out, pass it out, or dump it out, make sure the other team doesn't get it. Two key elements Nick does here is number one, he gets control of the puck. And number two, he moves his feet up the ice. A common mistake is trying to make a play before you get control of the puck. This usually ends up in a turnover. Another common mistake is to stand flat-footed while you try to make a play. Sometimes the puck might not be shot hard enough around the wall, so you're going to have to actually move and skate to the puck so you don't get beat by your opponent. When we're doing this, let's make sure to check over our shoulder so that we know where the other team is and more importantly, our own teammates. Watch Nick's awareness here as he looks in all directions while putting himself in position to retrieve the puck. He times his turn with the puck and gets his feet pointed up ice. He gets control and now the play is in front of him. All he has to do is move his feet and make a smart play. 